Fighting and fantasy games can be glorious together. The industry is full of games that pack magic and punching beings up. The Fable series is a well-known example. Not to mention Hades from earlier on this year. That game is awesome. A recent addition to said genre is Immortals Phoenix Rising. Released near the tail end of 2020, we follow Phoenix, a warrior whose task is saving various Greek gods like Athena from Typhon, the fiery giant that promises to make the world better. You encounter lots of mystical creatures and demonic soldiers that are hungry for a kill. It's colourful and entertaining, and it's been very satisfying for a while. I'm Retrograde, and this is why I love Immortals Phoenix Rising. Fantasy games are well known for having these spectacular creation features, making your combatant look as badass as possible and the click of a button can be endlessly satisfying. Do they allow you to have a multicolored beard and quirky haircut? I think not. Immortals Phoenix Rising allows you to do just that. The game contains lots of facial hair and head fuzz you'll recognise from other cultures, like the Viking days. This is cool as you can battle slug-like monstrosities with resemblance to Lagatha. If you're a player that loves coloured hair, this title gives you the freedom to change it from blonde and black to green and blue. But don't think it ends there. During the course of Immortals Phoenix Rising, you can unlock these beautiful pieces of armour that have special effects which can enhance your abilities. Go nuts! In the magical world of fantasy games, swords and fists are standard tools of mercy. They're very useful in your titanic battles, yet can be relied on for an easy kill. In Immortals Phoenix Rising, the sword is essential. Swift of every use, lords can be slayed in moments. There's an amazing collection of designs that will make you go, ooh, purple swords rock. I would recommend using it on lesser enemies as it will be useless on brute beasts. This is where a whopper enters the Colosseum. The axe, Phoenix's shining weapon. With this weapon of mass destruction, the player can stun and destroy foes in a quicker time. Sure, beefier villains are harder to eliminate, but this can be helped by holding L1 and a corresponding button. Players level themselves upright, enemies can perish in the blink of an eye. Zeus, a big god of Greece, famous for his lightning bolts, long bushy hair and never say die attitude. He's the king. Aside from this, he's also an unsung comedy legend. Rip Torn voiced him in Disney's fantastic feature film in 1997, but 2020 was the year of comedian Zeus. During the game's loading screens, Prometheus, Immortals Phoenix Rising's second and more serious narrator, will give you gameplay tips on how to improve stats and weapons efficiency. As the gamer takes in some key pointers, Zeus chimes in. What does he say? Something rather funny. Prometheus will mention that certain treasure chests can be found at night time, and his white-haired companion will speak dirty, saying, Everything is better at night, eh? He doesn't do just that. Cutscenes also home to his one-liners and wisecracking speeches. If you've just had an intense battle, his silliness is a welcoming feature. Also, check your emails. He'll tell you off for not playing the game. Virtual Gold. That is why I love Immortal Phoenix Rising. Got any of your own reasons for liking it? Let me know in the comments below. Like the video? Click the thumbs up and smash that notification bell to never miss a video. Also subscribe to check out any of my other episodes in my list. I've been Retrograde and I will see you next time.